Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about uh, KPI visualization within uh, Matomo Analytics. So uh, for this, what I uh, would like to show is the different ways that you can show KPI within the dashboard within Matomo Analytics. So there are several ways that you can do it. Uh, for this, I'm going to take uh, the bounce rate KPI. So um, Let's say the default one uh, is the one named KPI metric developed by Matomo, which is a widget, so the one that you can see uh, over here, which uh, gives you the possibility, of course, to go over here and select uh, the, let's say, the KPI that you want. So if you say here, uh, the, the bounce rate, that's one way. The other way uh, that you can display the bounce rate over here is uh, by downloading a plugin which have been developed by uh, Ronan Hello. Um, and this plugin allow you uh, to have as well a KPI, so it's, it's rather different as you can see. Uh, you can go over here and pick up over here, it's named KPI widget, and then pick up uh, the widget of your choice. In my case, I took the bounce rate. So of course, here uh, the number of metrics a bit different than the one over here because of course, the plugin needs to be maintained uh, from time to time, but as the developer explained in its documentation, you can just uh, ring him in order to uh, get uh, another uh, way to, um, I mean, other metrics to, to be added. Uh, as you can see here, the state of mind of the developer is a bit different than the one of the team of Matomo. So for the one of the team of Matomo, you always got like um, a time comparison period, um, let's say like a, a graph over here, even if you just select one day. Uh, whereas in the case of um, here, the, the developer, um, community developer here, so just one single number. So it's really interesting to see the different taste that you can get out of, of Matomo. The other way that you can have, uh, let's say, metrics such as the bounce rate uh, plotted over here, is to go over here and create um, a custom report if, of course, you have the uh, the premium feature for this that you call bounce rate. And here, instead of selecting a table, just select an evolution and then you pick up the, the bounce rate. Okay, and those are uh, the three different ways that you can create a KPI. So I'm just gonna put the third one over here um, so we said it was a custom report and it's so if it's not yet showing up over here it's just that it needs to be uh, showed and just looking at the classic counter i think classic counter could have as well uh, make it and then the view counter in the style classic oh no that's for the website only okay um, so let's go over here and then we can get the custom report with the bounce rate. Bounce rate. Uh, here it has not yet received any data because uh, because the data have not yet been generated. So if I just refresh, not yet. So I just need to speed the process a little bit up. And we are good to go. So it should come up in a minute. And here we are, so 33.3%. Uh, that's it. So as you can see, uh, different flavor, different widgets embedded for the same uh, information. 